everyone, it's Chrissy at ActoGames.com here, and today I'm going to be wrapping up VidCon. First things first, I almost got trampled by fangirls. Fangirling is really annoying, at least, well, not fangirling, like being kind of all struck and really like, oh my god. Like, not be, like, oh my god. Like, if, I uh, say, um, Tabuscus walked by, I'm like, you could be like, oh my god, it's Tabuscus. But you couldn't be, like, crushing Tabuscus against the wall because somebody actually even had to get carried out by medical people. And one was just, like, pressed against a wall. I don't know if they were the same people. But seriously, this fan girl just needs to kind of stop. Maybe if you're a fan girl, you can learn how to make lines. But that, now that that's out of the way, there were really, there was like so many really really long lines. I mean, that's the kind of not the best thing about it. Is there a lot, lot, lot of really long lines. I mean, the lining wasn't really good, great at this VidCon, and we had to get up at like five in the morning, maybe even four in the morning, and get in line to meet John and Hank, and it was crazy. But we did meet some cool, cool people on the way to meet John and Hank, and it was pretty fun. And really, 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 really cool, because John actually knew me when I came up to the signing, and it was amazing. I mean, it's crazy. And Hank didn't really know, Hank didn't know who I was, but we showed him a video of the impression I did. And it was really cool because he'll probably, because we gave him a business card, and if he has time, he may look at the impression of Hank. Of me, of Hank, of course. And I met Allie for the second time this year. It was really cool. She was really super nice. And it's really, really cool that I met her twice. And she was really sweet. And I talked with her it, that 2016, I want to be having my own signing table. So if you are on a Twitter follower, just do like, do hashtag get Presley a table and see how many people um, you can get to try and help me get a table by 2016. So my first, first, first video on this channel, I believe, was me overviewing a package I sent to CTFXC, and they've been huge inspirations. So, and it's really cool that I met Allie there. And I actually, a really long time ago, I don't even know if I vlogged this, but I did the t-shirt modification for a really old t-shirt to turn it into some short straps. And I still wear that spaghetti strap t-shirt thing today. It really, really sucks that people are being mean to Char and Ali and kind of taking sides. I mean, it's, they've, it's cr crazy how people can be mean. I mean, their lives isn't yours. I mean, don't try and, like, don't try and, like get angry at them for having their own lives. They're having their own lives, and if this was a life decision that they made, they're not. CTFXC doesn't ex. Well, CTFXC exists kind of to entertain you, but CTFXC, like the people in CTFXC, Charles and Allie, do not exist only to keep you guys happy. They they do. They made cliff decisions. They have their own life. Don't try and control their life. Just. Be nice to them. If you have something mean to say, then just don't say it at all. And if Char Ali is watching this, then just ignore them. They're just kind of they're just being rude, and I don't I don't think they should be rude. Just kind of ignore them. Or anyone who's been having lots of haters recently, ignore them. They're just being mean, and don't be mean to them. Especially, do not feed the trolls. Don't don't be mean to them. If they're being mean to you, if they're kind of yelling at you, don't be mean to them. It's just called feeding the trolls, and it'll just make them troll. But it'll just make it worse. Don't do it. And I met Lonnie. It was really really exciting because I actually got to meet Lonnie and I got an autograph from Lonnie, and it was just really cool. I was super excited and starstruck 
to actually meet Lonnie and it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I also got to meet Darian and she was super sweet and it was just crazy cool how I could meet those people. And we met LG Shadow Lady just walking around. We kind of saw somebody with pink hair kind of signing some stuff. I'm like, oh, that must be LG Shadow Lady. So we walked up and I got my book signed by LG Shadow Lady and it was really, really cool. And LG Shadow Lady, if you're watching this, I'm, we're going to try and make the LG Shadow Lady corner thing. I just really don't know what corner to put it in. So LG Shadow Lady gave me this picture thing when we got it signed and I have a little bit of LG Shadow Lady kind of merchandise stuff. So I'm thinking about like having a little place in my room where I can have all the LD Shadow Lady stuff kind of. And she asked me to kind of take a picture of it and tweet it to her so she can see it. And we met Mommy and Gracie and it actually feels like we kind of met, met some friends there. And it was really cool because maybe Gracie will be able to play on my Minecraft server soon. And it would be really cool if she was able to because I don't know if she plays servers or if she, well, if she really is interested at all going on my server, but it feels like we actually m met some more friends because we met some EDU people. So we ran into Derek with a few of the PBS people, and it was really cool. And then Emily walked by. Um, I don't think we got Emily walking by on camera, but Emily actually came in and we talked for a little bit, and but then she had to go go and we would keep like moving towards the escalator for some reason I don't know why so we kind of had this big group and it really fun feels like I have fans and I'm a real youtuber now because um, Derek and the EDU people were kind of fangirling with me and it was really really cool and one of my favorite parts of the whole trip was going to a natural history museum and La Brea. So the Natural History Museum, em Emily was there, I almost called her Emmy. Emily was there and we went and she had a paleontologist friend there and he kind of told us a lot about like all everything in the in the dinosaur area and it was really really cool and it was really cool because Emily wasn't actually doing the tour and she didn't know all of this stuff so she so she was kind of like geeking out about all the all the stuff around, all this really cool scientific stuff, like with us. So we were walking around the expo hall and we ran into Destin. It's kind of sad that there were, he was just standing there. Maybe one person came over and said, huh? But he deserves a lot more attention because what he does is so amazing and it's so crazy cool what he does and he teaches me so much and he just deserves a lot more attention. So yeah, this was kind of just a wrap up of what I've done at VidCon and it's just kind of some behind the scenes, my thoughts and I hope you liked this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!